applied the uh, primer from Embryolis, a brand that my mom has heard is great. Um, and the first step to the makeup is I'm going to apply this uh, Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Flash. Mm, it smells good. <laughs> and this is great to make mom's skin look more moisturized and luminous. The foundation we're going to use today is from Chantecaille and it is in the shade Cream. I like this foundation because it is very moisturizing and it's not too heavy so it won't sink into any fine lines. And we have tried a few different kinds of foundation on mom and this one is definitely my favorite because it gives her a lot of coverage and my mom has a little bit of rosacea on her skin. <laughs> so uh, this is great for coverage and it's not too heavy and I feel like most of the foundations we've tried for mom that aren't heavy have been really super sheer but we still want something to even out her complexion so I'm gonna start with a little amount and then I'm gonna build it up where I feel like I need it since this is a natural everyday look <laughs> that you could also wear if you're going out for dinner or something and how do you think this feels mom this foundation mm, I like it I think it's my favorite so far yeah, it's my favorite too. We tried this in Space and K in London and uh, we compared it to the NARS Sheer Glow, but the NARS Sheer Glow was a lot drier in the consistency, even though it's a glow foundation, it was a lot more heavy. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, it's super natural. My favorite concealer, as you guys know, is the Maybelline, or one of my favorites, the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Effect Concealer. Um, I think I'm gonna use the shade light. For mature skin, you don't want to brighten up the under eyes too much because that will, uh, that might make you look a little bit older and not too much here either. I'm gonna put a little bit of the shade nude as well. I'm gonna take the shade nude again and if there's anything else I want to cover I'm gonna use a little bit of the concealer okay I think this is the base done um, I'm gonna take a little bit of translucent powder uh, not on her whole entire face but just under the eye slightly before the concealer sets into any lines Make sure everything is nice and smooth because this is going to kind of lock in the concealer. And this is a MAC Cream Blush in Lady Blush. This is just a nice, natural, rosy color. So I'm actually going to take a little bit on my fingers. Is it mine? Yes. Oh, I didn't know. I got, gave this to her. I have lots of products here that I've given to her that I am now attempting to teach her how to use. I'm not going to use too much blush, but I feel like a nice rosy color to the cheeks um, gives the face a little bit more of a youthful look. Okay, just a nice subtle natural flush. And I'm also going to go in with a cream highlight. This is a MAC cream color base in the shade Pearl. And I'm also going to use my finger for this. Mine as well? Yep. And this is just quite a sheer, natural highlight. I know that some people are kind of scared of highlighting on mature skin because they're afraid that it's going to emphasize any fine lines. But I think a nice glow gives the skin a youthful look. And since my mom has always had dry skin, I like to give her a little bit of extra glow. And I'm not, you know, doing a crazy Instagram Jeffree Star kind of highlight. I'm just giving her a little bit of glow so when she's out in the sunlight the glow will kind of catch the light. A little bit on the tip of her nose. And a tiny bit up here. Don't want to use too much powder because powder can really easily settle into fine lines, but so I'm just like using the tiniest bit just to set the foundation so it won't move 
throughout the day. <laughs> I'm gonna take my one of my current favorite bronzers. I love this because this is kind of a mineralized bronzer, I think. It is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Radiant Bronze Light. And I'm gonna take this on a really big fluffy powder brush. This is the Real Techniques powder brush. And I'm not gonna use a ton. I'm just gonna use a little bit, dust off the excess, and I'm not gonna contour. I'm just gonna warm up her complexion. So I'm not really gonna go into the hollows of her cheeks that much. I'm mainly just gonna bring some color back to her skin. So I'm gonna apply this wherever the sun would naturally hit. And mom also just likes to be bronze. <laughs> some of, on her nose. You know what I said about contouring? I'm gonna give her some shape, but I'm not gonna contour too much. But this is the new Hoola Lights Bronzer by Benefit. So it's not as dark as the normal Hoola. And I'm using this because this won't give a harsh contour, but it will still, you know, shape her face a little bit. So I'm gonna use a tiny bit on a Sigma Extreme Structure Contour Brush. Not gonna go too low and not gonna do too much. Just, I'm just gonna contour a little bit. So my mom recently just bought a By Terry Ombre Black Star Cream uh, eyeshadow. This is mine, but it was on my recommendation because she loves cream eyeshadows and I think this one is beautiful. You can build it up to make it more smoky or you can sheer it out to wear it on an everyday basis. I'm gonna use my Benefit Precisely My Brow in shade number two. I want to shape them and make them look more like she has more hair. <laughs> so my favorite way to shape the eyebrows in a natural way is just to use light feathery strokes and you don't want to make them too harsh, especially not in the inner part. To finish off the eyebrows, I'm going to use my Gimme Brow. And this has some little f fibers in it to help make the brows more voluminous. So this is going to cling on to like every brow hair. And it's just going to make the brows look thicker. And I like to go kind of back and forth with this. So sometimes I comb back and then I comb <laughs> forth. <laughs> but I just kind of try to cover the hairs from every angle. My mom and I are going to New York in, I don't know when I'm uploading this. Maybe we are in New York when I'm uploading this or we're just going there. But I'm gonna vlog the entire trip. So you guys definitely have to go to my vlog channel to check that out. I'm so excited. I think we should find the thread. Threading? Yeah. Yeah. Now I am going to use, so mom got this for me as well. I like to use Naked Lunch, which is this really light pink natural shade. And I'm just going to pick that up on a flat eyeshadow brush, dust off the excess. And then I'm going to focus this on, I'm going to start it on the inner part of her eye. And this is just, just going to make her look more awake and it's gonna you know brighten up the eyes and when you have a lighter color on the inner part of your eye your eyes look further apart and i'm gonna pick some up on my pinky and i'm gonna put that in her inner corner You could apply this all over the lid and maybe this in the outer corner and crease. Um, but I'm going to apply this on her lower lash line now just to define her eyes. So if you look up. Okie dokes. Now we are going to curl her lashes. And she bought this little curler thing from Laura Mercier and I really want one because it's perfect to travel with. But basically you just take this part out and then you have a little eyelash curler. Um, so I'm not sure if I can do that. Maybe you should try yourself. I don't know. 
I think you have your eyelashes in there. Yep, and just clamp it down pretty hard a few times. <laughs> okay, now for mascara, I'm gonna use my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. <laughs> oh dear. Close your eyes. Look at the camera. Close your eyes. Oh my goodness. Wait, you're doing it too fast. No, I forgot the eyeliner. I'm going to use a Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes Eyeliner in the shade 25L. This is a brown color, so it's not as harsh as a black. You know, it's really easy. I just smudged it on the lash line, so it's not too harsh. Um, I like pencils for a softer look. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Reshape and Resize Lip Liner in the shade Iconic Nude. I like to use a lip liner to define the lips. Then I'm gonna use the YSL. I don't know what this is called, but it is a really long lasting lip gloss that I love. Is it mine? Yep. Yep. Um, glosses are great because they plump up your lips and these literally last for so long and mom likes lip colors that last all day so she doesn't have to retouch and these are amazing for that I love them so much and I think they smell really good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they're not sticky at all they're really nice last step you guys a setting spray so my mom has really dry skin and I suggested that she could use a moisturizing setting spray uh, just you know, that she can spray throughout the day um, if she feels like she's getting dry or, you know, after she applied her makeup or before or whenever she wants a little bit of moisture. And you guys know I love setting sprays, but mine are always mattifying and long wearing. This is just a hydrating setting spray by Emma S. I tried this on my skin yesterday and I'm not sure I like the spritzer because it's really quite, Ooh, like, heavy. You can do like this. Yeah, you can. This is something for the plane. I will bring it when we Yeah. Do. When we go to New York, this is actually great to bring on a plane. Good idea, mom, because the air in airplanes is drier than the Sahara Desert, I've heard. So it's really dry. All right, close your eyes. <laughs> and hopefully it will just, you know, help her feel more comfortable and not as dry. So this is it. My new makeup by Clara Elvira. My little sister, Clara Elvira. <laughs> She's so good at this. She transferred me from being her mom to being his sis her sister. He's... That's, that's so great. Okay, so do you want to say something? Mom said... Or do you want me to say something? <laughs> <laughs> Let us know in the comments down below if you liked it. And if you want me to do any other kind of makeup or skincare or anything video for mature women or men. And uh, give us a thumbs up if you want to see more videos with my mother. Wait, 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 wait. Don't forget to follow us on the, the vlog, vlog channel. channel. Why do you speak like a robot? Follow us on a very nice adventure in... Fun. New York City. Woo! Clara Elvira Vlogs is my vlog channel. And I will be guest starring. Starring. Staring. <laughs> I will be guest staring. Bye! <laughs>